Two at five tonight. A theft leaves a basin volleyball team without $21,000, but help is on the way, courtesy of the food truck community. Local 2's Ryan Martin joins us to tell us how several food trucks are chipping in. And Ryan, how are these trucks helping these teams take the court once again? Well, Stephanie, once word got out that the, the volleyball team was in need, one food truck owner sent out a mass group message. The response was swift, and one food truck, truck owner joined in, saying it's personal. The woman accused of stealing $21,000 from the Permian Basin Elite Volleyball Club, Tiffany McClure, didn't answer my knock at the door for comment. I just think so. But the food truck community did answer the call to help out. When I saw the news clip about the kids, you know, losing their money, I just felt really bad. And being a parent of a recent graduate, I just wanted to help in some way. Monica Steen of the lighter side learned the volleyball team is led by one of her former coaches, prompting her to step in. It just means the world, you know, when someone falls down and, you know, you're able to help them back up, you're just going to do whatever it takes. Steen quickly sent out a mass group message to all the food truck owners she knew. And that's when the other restaurants on wheels quickly began cooking up ideas. Middle and Odessa food trucks that's asking how can I be a part, you know, of this great event. And so uh, we just want to be a blessing to them. Daryl Sutton with Bishop Catering hopes to raise money through a co-ed volleyball tournament and food truck party to help the team regain their funds. For him, it's personal. Said I have a daughter, she does traveling volleyball, and I know what it takes, you know, for these young ladies to 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 do the car washes and all of this and, and then have something like this happen. A group effort to get the team back on their feet and serving match point. The team hopes to have a date for the event in the next couple of days. In the newsroom, Ryan Martin, Local 2 News.